Sports Cards fans, Ray from Philly here on this Friday night, Friday night vintage. It is February 19th, glad the weekend is here, favorite night of the week. So I got two packages in the mail this week. This is for the uh, Steve Carlton BS PSA Basic Tops set registry. I know last Friday I did a showcase on one of my set registries. I did the uh, PSA Future Hall of Fame set, and I said every Friday I was going to do a display case a display sh a showcase of uh, one of my set registries and the next set, reg set registry I was going to do was for the 50 greatest sluggers by Sporting News however I have three cards from that set coming in one came in today and two more are coming in early next week so I want to hold off on doing that show showcase for uh, the 50 greatest sluggers by Sporting News but this other set registry I'm doing the Steve Carlton basic top set two cards came in I showed you guys everything from 65 to 80 so I have it from his rookie year to 1980 so all I have left is from 81 to 87 tops so that's seven tops cards left once I'm finished his tops run then I'm going to do his PSA basic run which would be the tops and including the Donner's Fleer and Leaf from the 80s but first I wanted to finish the uh, tops run so I have seven tops cards left two came in this week and I'm going to show them now. This I got from Four Sharp Corners, not from their website though, from eBay. So I would have liked to have gotten it directly from their website and save a few bucks. But this is a stunning looking car, 1985 top Steve Carlton and a Mint 9. The 85 set is actually starting to grow on me now. I really actually love that set. Okay. And what I'm trying to get is mostly nines for the 80s. Uh, the cards from the 60s, his rookie I have in a seven. Uh, the rest of the 60s uh, are mostly sixes. And then the early 70s, from like 70 to 70, 75, I got sevens. And then 76 to 79, I tried to keep them all eights. And then from 81 to 87, I'm trying to get all nines. So here's the 85. And this was another eBay purchase. Uh, I, usually I only show one car <laughs> there, but I got two tonight. And this this is actually the toughest one from the 80s. This is an 83 Tops Carlton and a PSA 8. I just got done saying I'm trying to get nines. But this card, not only was there no nines, there's nothing listed, graded for 83 Tops Carltons. Uh, I really wanted a nine, but this was the only one listed a couple weeks ago in, in, in a PSA 8. So if I ever see a nine down the road, um, I'll upgrade this from an eight to a nine. The pop on the 83 Carltons are really low, so that's why there's just not a lot of 1983 top Steve Carlton cards so I just settled in for this uh, so that gives me 80 83 and 85 so I still have 81 82 84 86 and 87 now I just purchased 84 86 and 87 and 82 they'll be coming in early next week so that leaves me with one year left to buy and that's 1981 that's the second toughest year of the 80s is 1981 uh, after this 83 the 81 there's no nines out there there's a 9 pd print defect but i'm not a, I, I just don't like um qualifiers on especially somewhat modern cards um so i'm probably going to settle for eight i'm going to give it a few more days to, for uh, an 81 tops nine to come out if i don't see an 81 tops nine then i'm probably just going to settle for the eight uh and then that'll be i'll be finished the uh, steve carlton tops run and then uh, my next players that I'm working on after Carlton is Bench. I have his 68 rookie, 69 and 70. 
Uh, but that's because those three cards, those first three, are in the 300 Great Baseball Cards of the 20th Century by Mike Payne set registry. So my first card, I have to get a bench of 71, which would be my toughest obstacle to get for bench because of the black borders. Um, a PSA 5 is what I'm looking for in a 71, and that's usually been about 40 bucks. Well, one ended last night at over $100. So once I get past 71 for bench, it's home free. Uh, but I think I'm going to hold off on bench because I'm, I'm getting back into my 50 greatest slugger set registry, and I'm really liking that set. So let me give you a closer look at the 85 Tops Carlton and the 83 Tops Carlton. So uh, hold on. Okay, and we're back. So here is the 85 Tops Steve Carlton. I like it in the new holder too. It looks a lot better. This thing is pretty much perfectly centered. Great looking Steve Carlton, 85 Tops. And like I said, this was the toughest one of the entire 80s for Carlton. Yes, this is a little off center left to right, but this was all I could find for any graded cards for 83 Tops Carlton. I mean, there is just nothing out there. If anybody sees one in a nine, let me know <laughs> because I'll be thrilled to, to grab it. And that's it. So give you guys a closer look here. So the 82, 84, 86, and 87 are coming in in the next few days. And then that'll leave me one year left, 81 tops. And then I'll be complete with the Carlton run. And I'll do that on a Friday night showcase. Um, but I'll probably do the 50 Greatest Slugger showcase next Friday. Because I have three cards coming in for the 50 Greatest Slugger of the Sporting News uh, set register coming in. Uh, and like I said, one of those three actually came in today, and two will be in sometime next week. Okay, so other than that, I got nothing else. I appreciate all your likes and comments, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you think. Oh, by the way, I want to thank everybody. I just reached 1,600 subscribers, 1,600 subscribers. So I'm thrilled about that. Thank you very much. Closing in on 2,000. Hopefully in another year, I'll get to 2,000. But thank you very much for all your support over the past five years that I've been on. Thanks again. Stay tuned for more PSA graded baseball cards. And uh, like I always say, have fun with it. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.